So let's have a look at the areas that are most likely to be affected. We're going to see gales certainly coming in along the south coast of England. That could well uh, cause some minor issues. But it's once you swing around the corner, as you were, and uh, go in towards the Irish Sea, that's where the winds will be strongest. That's where the uh, winds are going to be funneling the water up through the Irish Sea, concentrating those very high tides, which on their own, without the weather effect, would actually be some of the highest of 2014 anyway. And those winds gusting up to 70, 80 miles an hour in places as well. Now, it's that combination, the winds pushing the sea in towards the coast, lots of water coming down the rivers from all the rain we've had over the last few weeks, and that can't get out to sea through the estuaries because of the very high uh, tide levels, and so it ponds up back through the river and just increases the risk of flooding. So how long is it going to be this bad? Will it quieten down quite quickly? I wish I could say it would. A little bit quieter perhaps on Saturday, although heavy rain might be a problem there for southern areas. But if we take a look again out into the Atlantic, we have got another storm brewing. It's absolutely battering the east coast of the states at the moment. It takes about three days to rush across in the jet stream, being propelled by the jet stream, arrives on our shores during Sunday. Again, some very strong winds, some pretty heavy rain as well. The tides by then beginning to go down a little bit, but there could still be some problems even so. Can you tell when the jet stream might shift a bit and we stop having all this hurled at us from the, from the United States. By the middle of next week, there are signs that perhaps we'll see less rain, still quite strong winds. Maybe by the middle of January, some hints there. I mean, longer range forecasting, always tricky for this part of the world, but signs perhaps then that things will begin to quieten down to some extent. Have we got short memories? Is it always this bad and we've just forgotten? It has been a pretty unusually long spell of severe weather. Last winter, of course, we had lots of cold weather that just stuck with us because the weather got stuck in a rut. This year, it's got stuck in a very different rut. It's weather coming in from the Atlantic instead. So it could take a little while before things move on.